Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. Last time we rounded out the last group of the whole group switching section. And now we're going to go through all the groups again. So we're going to go back to Micaiah's group now. Map commentary. The journey to the Tower of Guidance becomes more difficult as Asherah's Disciples of Order hound the travelers every step. Micaiah's ability to sense danger proves invaluable as it gives her allies advance warning of attacks by the disciples. Thus prepared for each battle, the group keeps casualties to a minimum. As they travel south through Benia, Micaiah and her company clash repeatedly with the disciples of order. Eventually, they pass through the central mountains and into the lonely wastelands of the vast Gran Desert. They are sustained only by their faith that they will reunite with their companions at the Tower of Guidance. Chapter 3, Distortions. So yeah, if you couldn't tell from that map commentary segment, we're going to be working in a desert this time, which I do not like one bit. But first, we have a little conversation with Lacane and Hetzel. Oh God, I hate I hate Lacane. I really do. I mean, not as much as I hate Valtom and Azuka, but. You know, I hate Lacane too, just because he's so pompous almost. Hmm. Hetzel's actually pretty smart right now. Because, like, yeah, they have so much to repent for, yet, you know, they're the ones out there being saved by the goddess. I, I don't know. There's probably more that explains that later that I'm just not aware of just yet. Okay, so now we're kind of finding out, not really finding out, but we're questioning what Sanaki was trying to question in uh, the prologue. Why all this stuff that Micaiah can do that she should be able to do, and yet she can't. That is kind of an interesting way of seeing that, though. It was kind of cool, though, how Yune's thoughts were causing that sandstorm. Okay, so there we go with that, and I think we're ready for the base now. Indeed we are. Okay. 
Uh, MVP of the last chapter, I'm gonna go ahead and guess... Peleus? No, Oscar. Well, I can understand why. Oscar did get a lot of kills, so yeah, I can see that. I'm a little surprised, though, I have to admit. Okay, more conversations. First, necessities. Oh, Balganon. This is a very powerful tome, by the way. Sigrun doesn't appreciate Sanaki being on the battlefield because she wants to keep her safe, but, you know, it's good that we have her on the field. She's actually doing something. I guess she just doesn't see how it's not a good thing, apparently. Okay, conversation with Nisala. Okay, they aren't related. Okay, that that confirms it. I knew I knew they weren't, but I forgot where it mentioned that. We get the tome Nosferatu. Uh, for those who don't remember, Nosferatu is a spell that can actually absorb HP. It's also very strong, but it's also very heavy, too, so uh, keep that in mind. You're probably not going to double with that spell very much at all. Although, I don't know, well, Purge is very heavy, too, of course, but, you know, compared to, like, Thani, like, Nosferatu is, like, seven times the size. Okay, well, um, I'll go ahead and put Birch away again, because I don't think I'll need it just yet. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm ready to start doing some work by myself, so uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, I am back. Again, not very that, not, I didn't really do that much. I gave the, um, Paragon skill to Nakaya. I could have gave it to Laura, but, eh. Because I'll actually be, have to use Micaiah in the end game. It probably made sense to give it to her. She, she's not doing too bad either. Um, I guess I could also try to put the Blossom skill on her too. Yeah, I won't worry about it. Okay, so anything else? Um, yeah, you guys can just look through the changes I made. I didn't really do or make that many changes. What you see is probably what you've seen before, so that's all I'm really going to say. I'll just end it there. And uh, as for the uh, bargain bin, just all the grass again. Nothing that important. Oh yeah, supports. I can fi finally support Jill and Har, but unless I actually take them to the end game together... I don't see them actually getting A rank, so... Yeah, that was kind of a bust. It might have worked, though, if I actually, uh... Got a support from them being in-game part 3 together. That boosted it up, but it didn't quite get it to C there, so... Yeah, that's why that happened. And, yeah, that's really about it. Oh. I also got Makai to level 13 and Laura to 15. I used bonus experience for that, so... Uh, yeah, let's get out of here and leave the base.
<clears throat> excuse me. My throat's kind of acting weird again. Oh god, here we go with the Disciples of Orders again, and look who's actually leading the charge. It's Lacan. Lacan is here, and he's gonna give us a little surprise. The False Apostle, he seems to still want to stick with that story. Older sister? Fine, we shall settle this in the ancient way, in a battle to the death. Yeah, because that seems like that'd be very, very effective in getting your point across. Okay, well, now we know what we're against. And yeah, we can finally uh, get rid of that stupid blood pack, too. But first, we got to set up everything. There is no way in hell I'm taking Kieran, so let's bench him. I could take Marsha, but she's very weak and probably wouldn't survive, so it's probably not a good idea to take her. And I think this will honestly be fine. This should definitely do it. So, yeah, I'll stick with this. As for uh, my plans here... First, let's put Mia over here so she can fight these guys. Aaron, you're gonna take this side. <clears throat> I'm gonna cough again because my throat's all weird. Rice, you can be here. Uh, Jill and Har are gonna take the middle because, well, they're strong enough to do that. And, yeah, I need to put you over here as well so you can protect Aaron. Actually, I can do this, too. I can move you guys around however I want. But uh, this is why I brought these two. Because they make this chapter so much easier. Because, you know, they have good defense. They have good attacking power. They can actually survive these giant waves. So, yeah, they're honestly the best units you could bring here. This is also why I have so many magic users and healers, because these enemies actually do do quite a bit of damage to you, so... So yeah, it's nice to have like a bunch of healers on your side, so you can actually use them to uh, get through this with very little pain. I also love how Lacane only has a rewarp staff. He doesn't have any other magical powers right now, so he's going to be pretty much a sitting duck. Uh, but there is a second boss, Numita, who you probably remember uh, from the uh, Part 1 chapters. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to deal with him too. But yeah, that's what we're dealing with. Uh, there is a secret character you can get here, along with a lot of hidden items. I'll be sure to collect a few of them. Uh, not all of them, though, so just thought I'd mention that very quickly. Uh, but otherwise, I think I'm about ready to get started, so let's save our game and let's get moving.
Another very annoying thing about this chapter is uh, there are a bunch of uh, units with long-range spells and stabs. Like, yeah, like you... Of course, the boss, Nomita. Uh, this one has an L Silence. And then L Sleep. More powerful versions of the Sleep and Silence stabs. I'm sure there's a person who has, like, a bolting spell somewhere around here. I can't think of where, though. So, yeah, there's a lot to look out for, so be very, very careful. Because you can easily get screwed if you aren't careful. And, yeah, I think we're about ready, so let's get started. First off, we have a bunch of Lance users, so... Let's bring Har over here. Actually, oh, for a minute I thought I could actually kill you, but... Not quite. Maybe if I was just a little closer, I could. Uh, you can also keep in mind, though, that the enemy is going to be just affected by the sand as you are. So you can kind of relax a little bit in that regard. Also, animations. I should probably put those on. Okay, I'll keep Micaiah's on, so I don't think we've seen that. Um, same with Soft. Actually, I need to talk about Soth and his abilities, since he's a third tier now. Uh, Sonaki... Yeah. Sigrun... If there's a possibility, yeah, sure. Well, actually, no, we've seen Marsha, so we don't need to see her. Uh, Skrimir... Sure. Sure. Doesn't matter. Jill, yes. R, yes. Aaron, no. Laura... It doesn't matter. Yes, yes, and... Nah. Okay, that works. Okay, let's move these guys first. Aaron's gonna have a lot of fun, because I don't think these guys will be able to do much of anything to him. This guy will, though. Jeez, steal Polaxe. Yeah, otherwise Aaron's fine. And Mia, let's get you situated. Yeah, now we need to send these guys this way. Hopefully we can actually see a stun or something. It's possible, though. It's possible. It's definitely possible. I probably should have used Har right there, because Har actually could have uh, finished that guy off, because he has more attack power. I think he has better defense, too, at this point. I think both him and Jill should cap it, though. So they're going to be very, very powerful. And that's what I approve of. Very powerful units. Yeah, I can also turn Nesala to his Raven form. me a little closer to the action. I think I'll also send Sanaki this way. And I'll send Sigrun and Micaiah and Soft this other way, too. Oh yeah, I need to explain Soft, don't I? Okay, Soft is now a Whisper. Uh, whispers don't gain any weapons, but they do get the skill Bane, which can incapacitate with a single strike. It does not work on all opponents, though, so that's one thing to uh, keep in mind. But yeah, it's basically an instant kill move, which... You know, most of these attacks generally lead to a death attack, but... You know, if there's someone with very high defense, then Bane will definitely kill them. Um, anything else worth mentioning? Not really. Um, Soft's pretty much what you'd expect him to be. He has some good power and, and decent defense, though. I have to give him that, but he's far from the best unit, definitely. That's, like, not even... No contest, even, almost. Okay. I need to be careful a little bit. I don't think I can die or anything, but... Still, though, better be safe than sorry. That's my motto.
Okay, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Dang, I freaking hate those stupid long range spells. We'll take care of that person though. We will. It'd also be nice to get an Astro attack too. Thank you! Keep in mind, it does it five times. It only did it three times because um, that enemy didn't have very much health, so that's why uh, that happened. I'll, I'll keep it on for another turn, though, just so you can see normal attacks. Kinda stupid to come after Captain Har like that. He didn't double though, so... Oops. And here's Stun. Wow. That completely obliterated the enemy. And, uh... Hold on a second, guys. Okay, I am back. I had to take that phone call, so I apologize, but like I said, had to make that phone call, so. Okay, I don't think... Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay, apparently something did happen. Something that could actually screw me if I'm not careful about this. Well, I need to get Har awake. So I'll do this. Thank God I have Leanne, because Leanne's going to make this so much easier. But yeah, first I'm going to heal her. Or heal Har, not her. Har's not a girl, he's a manly man. But yeah, I'm going to heal her. Hey, Har! Ugh, I need to stop being an idiot. Oh dang it, she doesn't have a restore staff. Well, never mind then. Apparently she's not going to be healing her. Uh, okay, well that kind of sucks. I need to get rid of this guy though, because this guy is going to purge her to death if I'm not careful. I'll take you back up here. I need to be a little careful about this, because I do not want Micaiah to die. Which I don't think she will. We can go ahead and see some of her animations, too. Although her animations are just like her normal first-class animations. So I could probably almost take those off. But, she is getting levels, though, so that's a good thing. It will further assure her to get to the next class. Or, it will further prove that she'll probably get to the level 20, I mean. Dang it, I wish I could actually finish her off, or finish him off. Okay, what is with me and genders in this battle? I can't get them correct. Okay, well, um... Yeah, let's have a little fun. Let's see if we can maybe get Corona. That'd be nice. My Corona? My Sharona? No. pretty much use any spell and kill them, though, so... Yeah, I'll go for Arc Wind. 
just because that's the highest percentage. Feel the wrath of Apostle Sanaki and her level two-ness. I love how she gains strength right there when strength is going to be completely useless to her since she can't use stabs, so that's, yeah, it's pretty pointless. Okay, Steel Blade then. And I'll go ahead and turn off her animations, and, uh... I'll turn off a few animations now that we've seen them. Let's get rid of Akaya's. Hers really aren't that special. Jill's, Har's, and Mia's. And yeah, I'll keep all the other ones on. Just for a little bit longer. Just for a little bit. It really sucks, though, that Har got... Uh, not stunned, but he fell asleep. Um, okay. I think that's good. I have to look out for these guys, though, for if we want to use, uh, Nasala or Sigrun, because they can put the damage on pretty well. Uh, also, there is a hidden item right here, from my recollection. Uh, there's also one right here, and one right here, here. And then there's something else right here, but we'll get that later. We're not going to be able to get that for a while anyway, so... I just thought I'd mention it for the time being. For now, let us continue. <laughs> 